So in this video, I'm going to do a drawing of a house in ink so you guys can get some clues or, you know, some ideas on how you could render a house um, in pen and ink. Of course, just like I did in that previous tutorial where I, I showed you pretty much how to use basic um, shapes as a way of rendering uh, a house in, in detail, I'm going to pretty much do the same thing here. So if you notice, I'm kind of like sketching things out in... Here I'm using like a really basic shape, so that way you'll see how um, the entire structure is really just based on a block, just like I did in that tutorial. Okay, believe me, I'm not um, uh, exaggerating when I emphasize how important it is to start from you know a basic, basic, basic form. Okay, especially when it comes to drawing this. And of course, you're going to see that you know the details and all that stuff is really just stuff you can add later on. See, just a block. You may not be able to see it that clearly because I'm not trying to make my marks be too heavy. But I'm really just sticking with the basic form here. It's just a basic block, basic block. See? And then afterwards, you're going to see how detailed you can actually be, you know, with your uh, mark making. And then we'll just start, um, maybe we'll start with the roof and just start knocking out the little details. structure down first and then afterwards you know then you lay in the details details are always last and the cool thing is about pen and ink is that it allows you to be able to create a sense of texture just by the nature of the, the, the pen strokes alone and that's one of the advantages of um, pen and ink in that it can create a sense of texture really easily you can create just scribbly lines and it still reads as some form of a texture 
for the eyes. So it's good to be aware of that when you're drawing as well.